Hi everyone, it's London Kazmir here with Press Pass LA. We're here at the 2022 Outfest Los Angeles at the Peacock TV premiere of They Slash Them. <laughs> Tell us about working with the cast. It, these are the greatest people I've ever met in my life. Like I, I feel so lucky that I've gotten to meet all of them and, and spend time with them. And you know, we all like yesterday we were all running around our hotel in matching queer like um, denim jumpsuits. Like we just they're just the sweetest people, and it's I feel very very lucky that it, we were all cast together. What was the first thing that attracted you most to the script when you were reading for Gabriel? I was reading for Gabriel. I mean, first of all, I have John Logan, you know, doing his directorial debut, and that's that's a lot. And being he opened to, you know, collaborate and searching for the uniqueness of each of us there, and wanting to exchange, even like it's John Logan, and he still wants to listen and and celebrate uniqueness. It's just it's pretty amazing for me. What do you want the audience and the viewers to take away after they've watched the film? What's what's something you want to stick with them? I think sort of the glory of those seven queer kids and the fact that their pride and their power makes them able to conquer the world. Because we live in a moment where, where queer rights are under assault. And so to, to show a movie where we celebrate the individuality of each queer kid, and they're all heroes, I think is important. I'm so excited. What is next for you? What can we be keeping our eye on? Uh, well, I'm writing on a very different vein. I'm writing a big movie about the Bee Gees. Okay. So lots of lots of staying alive. Awesome, lots of staying alive. Becky, you're dressed for it. I'm right on theme. <laughs> you are. What's something that you can kind of predict? What are, what are you like, uh, I know that's gonna happen. Oh, well, I mean, there's definitely gonna be like the whole um, tripping and falling and like backing up, like, no, no. Okay. And I'm waiting for that. What we about you? Um, yeah, someone's gonna be misgendered early in the movie and then at the, towards the end of the movie, they're gonna stab someone in the neck and be like, it's them, bitch. Oh, Let's, okay. It sounds like you guys need to be writers. Yes. I'll be back on that. <laughs> yeah, John had an amazing amount of um, uh, back uh, 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 research that he had done Nate, for for the years that he'd been working on the screenplay. So basically, he just pushed send, and, and we got piles of stuff to to read all about it, all about the laws, all about the individual states, all about the techniques that are used, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So. Um, it, so that's the that's kind of like the outside stuff. The inside stuff is, is different. You know, it's like a you know I'm just trying to play a human being and you know figure out who he is as a human being. What can we be expecting from your character? We can be expecting from Toby some fun, some laughter, some kiki, and a little bit of uh, uh, animosity towards what's going on after a while. Um, I think that he definitely only went to the camp as a bargaining chip with his parents to go see Moulin Rouge. If I spend time here for a week, it'll be done. And uh, he definitely signed up for more than he bargained for. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you follow, like, and subscribe to Press Pass LA.